on the what's popping? What's going on in the life of the Capricorn between today, the fourth, <laughs> and the fifteenth of September? I know I'm late, but you know the message is gonna be great if I'm late, right? All right, <laughs> Capricorns. Uh, this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers of Capricorn. Um, from the first to the well, it was supposed to be from the first to the fifteenth, but it's from the fourth to the fifteenth. Some of this may have actually happened on the first, so just take it how it resonates. If it does not resonate, just leave it where it is. Okay, Capricorn. I am extending um my ten dollar reading special. Uh, where it's one card, one question. Okay, I am kind of seizing um the same day readings because I've been kind of overwhelmed, and that's really why I'm kind of getting to your video a little late. So I apologize to you. I was actually ending that special, and it still exceeded. So I had to honor what I had actually, you know, obligated myself to. Okay, because I'm a woman of my word. All right. So. With that, I do want to say I apologize. All right, I know some of y'all was like, Mocha, where you at? Where you at? But I am extending my ten dollar, ten minute reading, okay, to you guys, and I am actually going to possibly extend it to everyone uh, until the end of the month. But I am going to do. Um, if I can't get you the same day, I know some people used to. If you have a reading with me before, I used to do the same day or the next day. But I have to get some sleep, y'all. So with that said, I have to kind of work on self-care and put it me first. You know, it's a lesson for Aries, okay? So if we're dealing with the Aries, you may feel like this person is a little selfish. They're not selfish. We're not selfish during this time. We're actually having to put our needs before others because we stress ourselves out when we can't be the way others need us to be or expect for us to be there, okay? So with that said, we rock it. All my new subscribers, y'all welcome to the family, y'all. Welcome to our dysfunctional loving family, okay? We tell the truth over here. We keep it positive on you. We don't keep the negative shit where it's at. Okay, to all of you new uh, subscribers, to my old subscribers, y'all. I love y'all so much. Y'all, we just recently hit 5K. I am going to do uh, 20. I'm probably going to pull like 25 people, uh, but I'm going to do it like once a week so I can try and cover at least 100 people within the month uh, on a live session, a 5K celebration, okay? And so it's going to be Liddy, all right. Um, I plan on having my baby, um, in with me just a little bit, you know, because my baby is quite the enlightened one, he's eight years old, but he has been here many times before. So, y'all, I love y'all very much. We rock it. I don't like long intros, I'm not gonna cry, but thank you so much for the love, thank you for the support, thank you for the personal reading, thank you for just elevating with me, thank you for allowing me to shine my light with you guys. Thank you so very much, okay. Let's rock. All right, Capricorn, the energy that I felt even just before I laid cards was just letting go. Really just like I'm done. I'm letting go. I've, I'm letting go of the things that I cannot control. I'm just releasing it, okay? Um, and, and that's a great energy I feel to walk in, okay? Because I literally felt like so much lighter, okay? And it's, I felt like you guys are just letting go things that are out of your control you're learning to just not worry about it and let god do his job congratulations okay that is one step closer to ascension all right so um capricorn of course let me get my verb let me get my little spiel out this is not a personal it is a general if you need a personal that information can be found within the description okay um we rock it okay so we're gonna start with the crystal angels oracle card message by doreen virtue the card that you guys pull for uh, from now to the 15th of September is Malachite. Let me show you. Beautiful card, actually. Prosperity. There's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. Okay. This card indicates a positive shift in your flow of divine support. This can refer to the meeting of your needs financially, emotionally, or in some other way. Previous blocks are lifted. Hmm, I told you feel light. Because released old anger or fears are now focused upon faith and taking guided action. As long as you continue on this path of positive thinking and following your divine guidance, you can expect to see a greater number of opportunities arise and experience deeper fulfillment. Okay? So with Malachi, it's more so about acceptance, okay? Accepting the things that you cannot control and accepting the fact that you are not going to change other people, but yet you can 
move yourself accordingly and just follow your path like it needs to be. Everybody's not welcome to come on our journey with us. Some of y'all, after leaving someone, I feel like in August, you're aligning yourself, okay? You're done. You're more focused on your finances, self-care, self, uh, self-love. self And I feel like you're not going to give into situations where people are not giving equally. If they can't communicate, it's not your problem. Been there, done that. If you don't want to share, been there, done that. If you don't want to compromise, been there, done that. That's not my problem, okay? And so... On the cool, let me let me bow to you, Capricorn. I'm proud of you. Good shit. Okay. I do see during this time between now and the 15th of September. I'm gonna say the first to the 15th of September. Yeah, I'm gonna put the fourth on here, but um, I feel like for some of y'all, this has already happened, so we rock it. Okay. But between now and the 15th of September, I feel like some of y'all will have recently met a new love after possibly finding out some secrets or some things coming to the forefront, okay, around that Pisces full moon um, and on August 26th, I feel like things came to the surface, okay, how people really feel came to the surface, and then you moved away from that, you were healing from that, and then boom, new love, okay, during this time, if you're going through that, if you're someone who just recently left somebody, and you're wondering, like, what's wrong with me, what happened with me, like, just take this time and just give yourself love, okay, Focus on self-care, I'm saying, because it is going to allow you to balance the masculine and the feminine, which is spirit is calling for you all to do, okay? During this time, your third eye is going to be pouring out information, okay? A lot of people have, it's like a mass awakening going on, all right? Which is why I wanted to end my $10 reading, but I don't work for myself. I work for God, you know? And it's about allowing people to see their wholeness through their self and not depending on anybody, not me, not anybody, to lead you on your journey, but for you, for us to give you, for us to share that light and that wisdom in order for you to be accepting on, on, on your path and to your journey for you to know, no, I'm not crazy. No, I shouldn't feel bad. But no, this is for me to grow. What about me? Okay. So I feel like a lot of y'all are just focusing on happiness. Some of y'all want to, uh, some of y'all, I feel like someone in the past, if you are Nicole, this could have been an Aries during this time. This person is wanting to come in and work out something new. I'm also seeing this could be your energy Capricorn, that you want to go work out something with an Aries. But some of you, you want to offer new love to a Pisces, but you can't quite figure this person out because they're keeping their feelings really close to their chest. Um, this person is also going through a spiritual awakening. So I feel like be more patient, okay? This person is focusing on also self-care, self-love. And I feel like you should look at this energy energy is being more so mirroring more so than selfish it's how you look at it and i feel like a lot of y'all during this time are going to have to shift your perspective okay some of y'all are going to have to balance out your home life and your work life okay i think i said this before in july but now it's becoming a really critical issue because somebody is really ready to leave they're needing that love their nourishment then that, that nurturing from you and i feel like for some of you uh for some of you i'm also seeing this can be um your children for some of you this could be um, maybe a, a a mother or a sister. It's it's two women, okay. I feel like usually I don't see uh, the five of pentacles like this, but my crown chakra has been going through a, a mass awakening. So I it's been so crazy that I be trying not to call out names because it's getting real, okay. And I'm so grateful for it. I receive it because I manifested this. I manifested this growth to truly be able to shine my light in a way that people need me to, not that they want me to i'm gonna tell the truth whether you like it or not and if you don't like it you know that's totally you're obligated to that but that don't mean i love you any less okay but i feel like i never looked at this too much all right but i feel like you see how there's two women in this i feel like somebody capricorn this could be um a daughter and I'm going to start daughter and a mother, okay? But I feel like somebody has had some type of financial gain. Somebody has kind of like been elevated financially with the pinnacles up here. And I feel like they're beginning to act really arrogant and treat people like they're unwelcome, like as if like you somebody out in the damn street, okay? Uh, th if this is you, Capricorn, this cycle needs to end because for some of y'all, I'm hearing that you're married and you finna lose your wife, you finna lose your husband acting like this, okay? Some of y'all need to sit down and really focus on uh, what it is that you're really, really, really passionate about and how you can, how your passions and you acting on that with the things that you've invested and saved can actually allow you sometimes some type of opening to balance it out as far as with your children because prosperity is raining upon you, but prosperity comes in many different forms, okay? And I feel like with some of y'all, it's, com it's coming in the form of love, definitely. And for some of y'all, it's definitely coming with the coin, okay? For some of you during this time, you could definitely have a major promotion. For some of y'all, 
you truly believe in miracles and truly some of y'all I see you've been balancing the feminine and the masculine you've been focused on for some of you you need to stop thinking lustfully stop thinking with yo yo but JJ or stop thinking with your dingling because uh yes I said dingling because I have an eight-year-old son and his conversations be interesting okay and um so stop thinking with your dingling and your JJ's because I feel like the spirit is really needing you and I feel like I'm speaking to a few people who have a fear of being alone having a fear as if you need someone here with you so for some of you it's definitely an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius but some of you you want to balance things to start a new to go into a new cycle in a positive way to truly heal and possibly you can't go backwards and mend fences as far as what you did in the past but you can definitely change and grow and shift how you do things going forward okay and I feel like for some of you I'm, I'm seeing two children like for some of you it's, it's I see a set of a boy and a girl I see twins and I see like an older girl wow and a younger girl but I feel like both of these are adults excuse me Capricorn I feel like conversations are needed to be had to heal and mend fences, especially when it comes to your children, because some of your children feel like a slight abandonment, you know, and my empathicness is like crazy. My eyelash, I woke up with my eyelash doing gang signs because my eye itch and I've been scratching <laughs> and um, I'm having allergy issues too, but um, I'm not going to cry. Yeah, y'all know I speak from my soul <laughs> and so it's going to always come loving. But because of that, I feel that the Pisces moon is definitely on own. Um, some of you all, some of your children feel like you don't have time for them. You just focused on money and building finances, even though you have more than enough. If you stop and just really sit back, you see how it's under here. This man is a great and he's a great provider. He's great. He's a great stabilizer, and I definitely see that this is Capricorn. We're looking at the low. You know, I, I I see things differently. But Capricorn, I feel like you're a great provider, and I'm talking to more so my men. You're a great provider, but I have five cards down here, and the only thing that I see is new love. It could be in the form of a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it could definitely be in the form of a Leo after you find out that somebody has just had enough and they want to leave. Someone wants to leave a family situation and just walk into a new cycle um, after having some form of elevation, I mean, uh, elevation as far as finances. And I feel like during this time, you need to heal with your children, you know, and maybe not really make up for lost time, but kind of get to know them. Maybe what they're passionate about, how they feel, how they feel, because I feel like you have energies around you that need to heal during this time. And that's going to be healing, but conversations need to be had. And I feel like a lot of y'all are having dreams. Some of y'all have visits from your ancestors during this time in your dreams. And they're telling you how to hold things together, how to balance things, okay? So sorry, y'all know I'm sensitive. All right, Spirit, can you the messages for Capricorn between now and the 15th of September, please? Thank you. Yes, yeah, some of you, again, need to work things out with your children. You need to work on things, work on men defenses, work on, you know, being, I feel like having conversations where they feel like you're actively caring about how they feel. Y'all, I'm sorry. I see some sad children, y'all. You can never be too busy for your family because... Y'all, you can't die with this. You can't die with this. This this can buy your way into making memories, but it doesn't hold the substance of the memory within itself. Excuse me. Y'all know I'm Aries. I'm, I'm working on allowing myself to be vulnerable because spirit says it's a part of my life. So I apologize, but y'all my family, so I don't hide nothing from y'all. Someone needs to heal, and they need for you to take a step as well. I feel like in the past, your, someone in your family could have told you something about um, how they felt, okay? I feel like this could be um, maybe a daughter or a son, but I feel like, Capricorn, you was more focused on finances and your money, okay? 
but this person or these babies are not able to heal without you allowing them to speak. Just because they are children does not mean they have feelings and that they should be honored. I know we were raised, a lot of us, in a traditional setting where children didn't have too much of an opinion, but there has been an evolution, baby. There's a mass evolution, and a lot of these children are doped out on drugs and going through depression because the abandonment, the neglect, the fear, the, the feeling of failure are not good enough. Rejection is started at home. So if you feel like you have broken connections with your children, you're needing to not be prideful, not be stubborn, but have conversations that are well needed, okay? Here, please give me the messages between now and the 15th of September. Some of you are working on something. If you're working on starting a new business during this time, it's a great time. Mars is on the move, so this energy will be uh, very beneficial to you during this time, okay? I do see some of y'all want to have something. Some of y'all have been very patient to see something stabilized, uh, for you to see uh, something come and flourish, okay, within the material world, okay? And I do see your patience has definitely paid off uh, with it landing here on the Ace of Pentacles and with them both being major arcana. Okay, I do see some of you want to offer something practical and new, possibly to a Pisces. For some of you, uh, it may be a Taurus. For some of you, it may be an Aquarius. But some of you have to leave some things, um, mindsets, okay, as well as perspectives in the past in order to move forward. But I definitely feel a lot of healing going on uh, with possibly healing family issues during this time, okay? Okay, some of you are possibly healing yourself or possibly during this time you're going through kind of reflection state okay possibly in the past and you're kind of formulating a way um to fix things okay a way to move things and make things better okay because i feel like for some of you you definitely want to hold things together you want to hold on to uh what you have your foundation you want to hold on you want to mend those fences you want you don't want to see people walk away you know due to you know, they're being a focus on money, okay? Because some of y'all, some of y'all have been ignoring a soulmate relationship that could possibly be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you, there's an earth sign trying their best to hold on to you. Or you could possibly be trying to hold your best to hold on to the air sign and you miss the whole point of where your focus should be, okay? Some of you are going to give an offer. Instead of an apology, some of y'all could possibly receive or be given an offer, um, to someone uh, that's going to help you financially, okay? And for those of my Capricorns who've been kind of starting over and having to go through some sort of financial instability, just be receiving during this time because someone is coming forward. It looks like an earth sign to help you with your finances. For some of you, you could also be getting a new job or a promotion that is not a whole lot. But it's enough that's going to elevate you so that maybe you can focus on something that you want to invest in that is going to see prosperity as long as you stay focused and mend fences and heal things that actually matter and hold substance in your life. Okay? Okay. Spirit, please show me the energy of Capricorn. If you clarify, clarify this for a pinnacles. Yeah, some of you want to hold on to, you know, some of you want to stabilize things and hold on to what you have, okay? If it's a relationship, if it's a friendship, if it's a marriage. But I feel like some of y'all feel stuck. You don't know what to do because I feel like for some of you, you have just a spouse. For some of you, it's a karmic partner. That spirit has been trying to move you away from, but you just don't want to see it. For some of you, you are going to take a leap of faith, okay? Um, and actually deal with possibly an Aries from your past who's actually a soulmate partner to you. Some of you, yeah, some of you are going to be making offers, okay, to mend things with your children, I'm feeling. For some of you, you're receiving an offer possibly from someone who you have uh, possibly a past life relationship with, or someone from your past that could be a water sign, or someone that you possibly just have children with, you know. Uh, but you want to fix things. You want to see things grow. You want to start over in love. Some of y'all just recently met a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and this person is a divine lover, and it was destined that you meet this person. This person is here to help you rebuild, help you to... Have faith again, okay? So don't close this person out focusing on money because this is really a genuine person. For some of you, you're wanting to have a new start, start over, start fresh with your children. For some of you, for most of y'all, I'm seeing daughters. 
I wonder if I have a moon cause here. Yeah. Some of you, I feel like there's still things that need to be illuminated, okay? And with the following on this moon card again, I feel like you, you, some of y'all have maybe an earth sign child or an earth sign. This could be a young adult, okay? But this person just, you feel like this person focused on work. You feel like this person is just focused on work and maybe they're not really expressing themselves, maybe they're not opening up to you, okay, and really telling you how they feel, maybe you just feel like they're too busy, okay, and maybe you feel like, you, maybe you know this person's dream, and you just really want to help them financially, okay, and I feel like maybe Capricorn, you've been working on yourself, and maybe you don't have it, so I feel like it's kind of driving you crazy, you feel guilty, but I feel like you need to have a conversation with someone, okay, but some of you, you definitely want to put the work in, and work on it, uh, with the family situation with, in, regarding the Pisces. Damn, the Wheel of Fortune fell on the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, definitely some of y'all are having some definite endings, okay? I feel like they're long overdue, but now Spirit is saying no more. You know, you can no longer have it, okay? It's no longer for you, and you can no longer have it, okay? That's not the door I want you to walk down. That's not the door you signed the contract to walk down, okay? And so you have to let it go or let the control around the situation go. You have to change the way you're doing things, especially if it's not getting you anywhere, okay? Insanity is doing something over and over again and expecting a different result. I mean, you have to try, you have to be willing to change in order to lead the pack accordingly, okay? But some of you... For some of you, you don't want to see that. You, I feel like you need to trust your intuition because for some of y'all, you feel that I, that someone's going to leave you. I feel like you feel like somebody's going to travel across them waters, okay, and and hit the fence. For some of you, you feel closed out. Of, maybe you feel closed out of your family situation or maybe you feel closed out from your partner. You feel like people are making plans behind your back, okay, maybe putting up things to leave you later. And I feel like you need to make a decision, okay, because I feel like you know that you have to make the decision, but you don't want to see it because you just, I feel like you're just using money, okay, to blind you. Money has become a crutch to some of y'all. Get money. Get money ain't going to fix nothing. Some of y'all, some of y'all are trying to possibly work through um, avoiding a divorce, okay? Some of y'all are possibly getting a divorce due to you trying to, you're going to file for a divorce during this time because you have recently met a new soulmate or a new divine partner and you just want to be happy, okay? I feel like for those of you who've been masking your emotions through using finances, I feel like you're just being real with yourself. I feel like justice is definitely in your favor, okay? But some of y'all need to be finding out something through the justice system about your children. And I feel like it's going to put you in a very sad place, but this has to do with that balancing of the feminine and the masculine, okay? But some of y'all, you're going to find out in the past that an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could have put you in a, uh, in a third party, um, in a third party situation, okay? I feel like for some of you, you had already moved away from this person, but shit's starting to hit the fan. Things are starting to be illuminated, and you're going to put time together and be like, you mother, mother. Are you serious? No! Yeah, but you have to go through this. You have to let this go in order for something new to appear in your life, okay? You've been manifesting, and sometimes we're manifesting. We don't pick out how shit's supposed to pop off. <laughs> yeah, some of you, some of you, some of you want to start something new, okay? Possibly with an earth sign, okay? I feel like something new is trying to come and manifest in the material to the surface and some of y'all are just not making a decision on which way you want to go i'm also hearing that you need to finish what it is that you started if you started something finish it before you pick up other projects and start something else okay because i feel like some of y'all been all over the place some of y'all are being patient possibly okay when it comes to do maybe someone some of y'all could have actually some of y'all could be finding out about someone being pregnant, okay? Some of y'all could have had someone being juggled. If you were dealing with someone that was married, okay, I, someone that has children, I feel like they were juggling you and this person, but I feel like you recently let them go, or some of y'all could be finding out you're pregnant by this person, and some of y'all feel like, oh, this person don't want me, but what you're going to find out is they want this ten of cups. They want a new life. They want to be happy. They want to feel. For some of y'all, you're materialized. Some of y'all going to find out a Pisces that you already have kids with is pregnant again. And I feel like this is a this was a rocky situation. Maybe y'all were talking about divorce or separating, but boom, something new materializes. So I feel like your coin 
gets right, and then some of y'all find out you're having babies, okay? Congratulations, Mocha. Love the kids. All these new babies being born. I've been hearing a lot of people pregnant. It's crazy. Bless me, though. Okay, why is the star card here? Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all are stuck in the energy of feeling betrayed, okay? Some of y'all, you wanted to, some of y'all, you were dealing with a Pisces, and you wanted this person, this person was your pride, joy, and everything, and you find out this person could possibly be pregnant by someone else, or possibly gotten someone else pregnant, and this person could possibly be an Aquarius as well, and for some of y'all, it's an Aquarius, it's someone that you know, I'm seeing that strongly, and I apologize, because I'll be mad as hell and ready to fight, don't go to jail, okay, Woosa, don't let anybody take your chi, okay, but I do feel that with this situation, for some of you, in order for your wish to materialize here in the physical, some of y'all are starting new businesses, maybe your business have been going slow, what you don't know is, things had to slow down in order for you to Go through this heartbreak, go through this major let go, okay? Because for some of y'all, it's going to make you feel that same sense of lightness that I felt when I told you at the beginning of the video that I felt a sense of lightness when I meditated on your energy. But yeah, definitely, in order for something to materialize, I feel like some of y'all have just been trying to get forward, okay? For some of you, you feel like as soon as I got one foot in the damn door, I get knocked 10 steps backwards with other people's problems. And I feel like for some of you, some of y'all definitely have possibly a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay, that you was possibly dealing with in the past. You're going to possibly move away from this. You moved away from this person maybe in the past due to some form of deception, but some of y'all are going to move away from this person after some secrets get revealed during this time. Some of y'all, okay, are needing to love yourself and focus on yourself, okay, a lot more. I feel like for some of you, especially my Capricorn women, I feel like you cannot close your emotions off, okay? this life you have to experience love just because someone broke your heart you don't do not put those same expectations in someone else knew that you met because maybe they didn't do it and that's unfair to you because if someone treated you like that you know you wouldn't appreciate it and it would definitely hurt if you cared about this person we don't control the way this heart beats and who it beats for okay but i do see what we do but for the most part when it's destined and it's faded, like I see here on this journey for you, babies, you don't you don't got no control. Let God do God's job. Some of y'all are internally fighting, okay? Uh, some of y'all are fighting with the water sign. Can't spice these four people during this time. But some of y'all feel like this is more of internal fight. Do I want to focus on loving someone else, okay, and sharing my cup? Or do I want to focus on money, even though this person makes me feel good? And I'm already sitting here at the King of Pentacles. I'm already sitting like the king or queen, okay? Sitting like, so what What can I lose? What can I, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. Some of y'all are so scared to let somebody go that you might just be successful by yourself because that's the way God intended it to be. What is you praying for if you're not going to trust? Okay? I have this King of Pentacles here. Yeah. Some of you need to trust your intuition. Some of y'all have someone. Um, some of you don't. Like I said, you don't want to see that you know that you have a knowing that somebody finna dip or that some, some shit finna hit the fan. You just know. Intuitively, I feel like y'all on fire. That third eye is going to be booming during this time. And I feel like, again, you have a fear of like being alone. You know, you don't want to be feeling rejected, but what you don't know is when you let that go, some of y'all got new blessings coming in the form of water sign. For some of y'all, it's a strong Leo, and it's a strong Aries. For some of y'all, it's a Libra. For most of y'all, you need to work things out with your family and balance love and money because you can't die with money. You die with the memories, the love, the light that you shared, the wisdom that you gave your kids, and the, and the stability that you actually build around your uh, the, the stability that you created yourself. And for one, it starts within the mind. For two, money ain't every damn thing, okay? Heal things and mend fences with your family because I'm feeling that strong. Y'all made me cry and shit. No, I'm a G. Hmm. <laughs> I love y'all family. This is what I have for you between now and the 15th of September. And y'all comment, like, share. Y'all let me know. Y'all been doing a great job at that, y'all. Thank you so much for all the comments. I appreciate it. I read every one. She's been busy, so I've been trying to like them. I can't comment back all the time. But y'all just know that don't mean I love you any less. Love, light, abundance, prosperity, wealth, and healing to my Capricorns. Deuces, boo.